Hey guys, what's up? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel, and I am so <laughs> excited right now. We are getting into Ruby Volume 5, the premiere chapter. Chapter 1, Welcome to Haven. It is 23 minutes. That's like the, the length of typical anime nowadays. 23 minute premiere episode for Ruby Volume 5. I am so excited to get into this. I had just finished watching the Yang character short at the time of recording this. I just finished watching the Yang short, which by the time this is uploaded to my channel would have already been out last Saturday, um, just because it is out right now on the RT site and on YouTube, everyone. That was phenomenal to watch. We got to see Ruby and Yang in their Volume 1 attire in the Maya engine, which was great. Wasn't expecting Ruby, so that was a really great treat to at least see her. See a little bit of the backstory of, you know, pre-Beacon, like before Yang even went to beacon seeing the last moments that her and ruby shared before they left which was great um the fight scene between yang and the ursa was awesome whoever did that at rt i can definitely tell that the fighting scenes are definitely getting bigger and better um you know and obviously you guys are improving as you guys go along so i really really loved that the ursa grim design is so freaking sick I love the fact that there, you guys are like really, and I'm speaking to like anyone who's on the Kruby team and anyone who's watching this in general, but um, I really love how they're really scaling up the Grim to become more ferocious, more grim and ominous. And like we initially got that in volume four with the, I think the Beowulves were the best example of, you know, revamp work and actually making them look a lot more like evil and gruesome you know, to fit the description of like, okay, these are like the terrifying creatures that people are scared of in the world. And then to see the Ursa and to just compare it to what the Ursa Grim looked like, like comparing it to like volume one through three Ursa, like the Grim looked like, looked silly by comparison. Cause so like, I, I just love how they revamped the Grim uh, for the Ursa. And I'm really looking forward to seeing the other ones as we go on. But this is the volume five premiere chapter one. I have been prepping uh, over the last week looking forward to this episode. I've watched every single Twitch marathon that they did from volume one to volume four, uh, Monday through Friday. And I, I was out of, I was out of state, uh, the last couple of days, uh, hanging out with the people in Rhode Island who I am, um, really good friends with in the Ruby community. We all watched Ruby volume one through four and they went to go to the fathom events to, and they actually saw the episode before me because I decided not to go. I decided not to go to the Fathom Events um, premiere screening for the first chapter because I know a lot of you guys really enjoy and appreciate the reactions that I've done with Ruby ever since you guys have discovered me, mainly with Volume 3 and Volume 4. And I felt like it would have been really weird if I went to the Fathom Events, watched it in theaters, and then came home and did a reaction, even though I could only watch it once before it you know, officially premiered on Saturday. So I decided to forego that. So I was super, 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 super anti to watch it because I found out that it was a 23 minute episode and it felt so weird knowing that other people knew stuff about Ruby before I did because I typically want to always be up to date on Ruby. So A, I don't get spoiled and B, because it's the, it's the show that I'm like most invested in for anything that RT does. So I felt very anti to be like, oh my gosh, everyone around me knows new stuff and I'm like out of the loop. And the only thing that I have as a reference to go for is the trailer that came out so <sighs> the first thing i want to say before like I, I end this off and start the reaction is uh thank you guys for your overwhelming support of me whenever you guys have discovered the channel whether it was volume one two three with my reactions four or even if today's your first video um i really appreciate the fact that you guys enjoy my insight my expressions and you know my passion for the show in every single in every different way possible whether it's through a reaction a review a live stream um you know for anything that i do for the series uh, i love this show to death and i'm really really proud of everyone who's worked on this show on the crew whether you're a voice actor a director a co-writer uh, an animator rigger compositor what have you um i i love this show to death and it's because of your hard work that it's what allows me to be able to do all the stuff that i do on my channel and to continue you know expressing my love for the show as we go on so um and then also for everyone on the you know who subscribes to the channel who watches the videos who supports it and who enjoys and looks forward to every week i'm honestly I'm, I'm honestly really looking forward to the live stream discussions to just be back into flow with the community of talking on a consistent basis and expressing all of our thoughts and theories and opinions of, of ruby um I, I really feel like Volume 5 is going to be completely different from anything that we've gotten thus far of the series. It's going to be 14 chapters, obviously sprinkled with World of Remnants in between. Uh, but ultimately, it's really great to be back. I'm, 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 I'm so happy to be back. I'm really looking forward to this episode. 23 minutes! 23-minute chapter, so... 
Uh, without further ado, I'm going to be getting into Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 1, Welcome to Haven. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave your thoughts in the comments. And without further ado, let us begin. All right, we are back. Um, we are starting this right now. 23 minutes, Ruby Volume 5, Chapter 1, Welcome to Haven. I have the freaking butterflies in my stomach right now. Um... I can't believe we're back. I can't believe we're back. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave your thoughts in the comments. I am going full screen right now. And without further ado, oh my god, it's so great. <laughs> Let us begin in three, two, one, now. Oh my god! The city of mist. Crow, crow! Uh, it's about time. <laughs> Nora! Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, where are they? There's many obstacles. Broken airships, destroyed settlements. Oh, and, you know, all those oh. people and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> Tyrion. We were fine. Oh my god! We almost died. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Crow so almost died. Ren almost died. Almost there. Where are they right now? They're underground? On the scenic route. The scenic route, eh? Like, they're gonna go through, like, the mountains and the build- and, like, yeah, like, all the, the- the houses and stuff. Oh my god, I can't believe it! <laughs> it's, it's awesome! Yeah. Oh! Something. Two oh days! Gosh, look at all Hero, so of course, Ruby's about excited about the weapons. Whether they should or not. They really made the most out of these mountains. Wow, that Every guy looks like freaking Zuko. Stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up Ooh. you go, the nicer it gets. Okay. And we are going up. To the top. Haven Academy? I assume that's at the... Whoa! Oh, Weiss! We're getting Weiss already? So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Ooh. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Why Lots do they have to be off the radar? Anima. It's fine. Oh my I god, just what? hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> hmm. You and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. I? <laughs> what the? I think this is from the trailer. The Grim are gonna show up, no? Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Huh. Someone must be close. Mayday! Mayday! We are a small passenger flight and our Huntress is down! We aren't equipped to deal with this! Deal with what? The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline! Ooh! Get off us! If anyone can hear this! I think it's the Grim- those Grim wasps or whatever they are. From the trailer. We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. What? Why? What but the hell? They need help! They'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. But you have a- job, You have a Huntress! Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. Ah, that's messed up. Throw him off! At least that shows that Weiss really cares about other people, not just like she's really not like anyone in Atlas anymore. Oh, and here's from the trailer. <laughs> Hello! There doesn't seem to be anyone here. <laughs> wow. I wonder if those two towers are the CCT, or if the CCT tower is somewhere else. God, this looks amazing. This looks beautiful. You finally made it. <sighs> We made it. Yep. <laughs> and Crow picking up the rear. What I want to know is why isn't there anyone here? Like, there should be students here at least. I love Hello! the- I love the ambience too. Maybe try louder? <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well. I guess school isn't really in session right now. Oh, okay. Maybe that's it. All right. That that makes sense. Unless no, they have like this isn't right. Come on. Unless Wait they don't... for us. That what are they on summer break? Leo Lionheart. 
This is his office? Get ready. Ooh. There could be trouble. What a bunch of old guys. Uh, Professor Lionheart? <laughs> that face was Crow. hilarious. But crying Woo! out loud nearly scared me half to death. <laughs> <sighs> me? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Huh? Oh, oh, right. Always late. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Jean Arc. Nora Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart. Leonardo? I'm afraid most of my staff is Oh, that's so suave. Classes His outfit's what? awesome. Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? <gasps> Crow, the children. Already they know. know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? Uh -oh. You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> well, only the teachers are supposed to know. What did Arthur Watts tell him? He must have been like, yo, clear your school. Have no ground, like, have no security. Oh my god! Garbage. We're getting everybody! We can't, can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with this! this. Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. <laughs> oh my god, Kali and Kira! Where's Guys, Blake? Everything's gonna be okay. So I'm assuming this is right after her character short. Ooh, who's that? Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's alright. Sure thing. Wow. Just call if you that need me. Who is that? Is that just like, um, I don't know, just like the security guards around the area? You need better security. Oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Ilya. I just need to talk. Ilya. This was also from the trailer. Your, your plan isn't going to work. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Blake. Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight, and they denied knowing anything, and everything we found on your scroll, they t talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. What? <sighs> but you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. What the hell? That scroll might not have been enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the Faunus here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. Uh-oh. And neither should you. That's not going to be good, though. Your plan isn't going to work, Blake. How is she so sure of that, though? Please. Just leave Menagerie before it's too late. Before what happens? Something's going to happen here. You're going to have to make me. <sighs> Don't change color. Oh, no. That's their dynamic right there. Two friends on opposite ends of the spectrum. I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless. Even for you. No, reckless Whoa. is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon. But since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. For what? Vale wasn't the only kingdom to suffer that night. Everyone was watching. Every house in oh, every kingdom yep. saw that poor girl ripped to pieces. Saw monsters crawling over the city at lazy nights. Wow, well, he just like citizens. reminded them of everything. But they witnessed they it firsthand, nothing. dude. You could feel the dread in the air. With all that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when for the, the grim, grim came for us. Jesus Christ. Mistral's controlled oh territory is the widest Hold on, hold on. World. Pause. Holy shit, dude. I just realized that. I just realized that everybody... Like, the effects of what happened in the Colosseum, like, uh, in, 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 like, in the arena, like, when Penny got killed and all of the Grimm, like, ran towards, like, like, made their way towards Vale and Beacon... 
that was that must have been what was happening everywhere because the same emotions that were being felt in the arena by all the people that were there watching was also happening to everybody around the world that was watching holy shit i didn't even put that together wow one two three now no and that makes it infinitely jesus hard to christ dude we lost so many great huntsmen teachers from this very institution oh we didn't get to see it's them it's only gotten worse what do you mean watts is here we may have dealt with the grim but the mistal council still at odds with representatives from atlas First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm yep. not sure what happened to James in Vale. Ironwood's kind of going worsened crazy. Some of his more unfortunate tendencies. He's he's the he's the he's the scared and one of the group. He's the on most. On top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. Things they clearly bad. don't see eye They're to eye. Bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? Well, I mean, she has all the power. Thought Salem's after in. her. Mostly filled in. Look, oh? there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> what? You're no longer a teacher? No! Oh, the four man. The Maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. Yeah. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. Really? What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. For knowledge. Pause. Why then? That doesn't... Initially, that wouldn't make sense then. Because... In, in chapter, I believe it was chapter 5 or 6 of volume 4. Um, what's her name? Uh, Salem asked Cinder. She was like, Cinder, I'm going to ask you this one more time and I expect a clear answer. Did you kill Ozpin? And, you know, she said yes. And then she tells the Seer Grim, she was like, reinforce that number of beacon. The relic is there. But... If only the Maiden can get to it, wouldn't they not be able to locate it then? Like, wouldn't Cinder, or, or rather the Spring Maiden would have to, or what, whatever relic is in Vale, they would need that corresponding Maiden to get to it. Unless the relic itself isn't there, unless Ozpin is the exception. Maybe Ozpin hit it or Ozpin took it somewhere. That's confusing. I don't know if that's an inconsistency or if that's, uh, if it's, I, I, I don't know. Maybe they have to just locate it and maybe they just can't find it. Hey guys, what's up? Quick intermission. I wanted to put this insert in here to kind of clarify my thoughts and what I meant just because when I said what I said earlier, it kind of just all came out at once and I don't think I articulated what I was trying to say very well. So really quick, Salem basically mentioned in volume four when she was talking to Cinder, she was like, hey, did you kill Ozpin? And then she tells the Grim, reinforce our numbers at Beacon. The relic is there. She specifically mentions the relic. She does doesn't mention a chamber, a vault, a room basically that is locked that you need the maiden key to be able to unlock it. So to me, it, it kind of didn't make sense that she would say like, cause when she says, you know, the relic is there, it seems like she's not looking for like a room or a chamber where the relic is located, but the relic itself. Unless Ozpin is the exception to the rules and he is somehow related to the wizard that gave the maidens his powers, I would seem like it would seem like he'd be able to override that and get the relic and, you know, secure it himself. Especially if it's his cane that a lot of people, myself included, are speculating. But yeah, it was just a little bit of the wording from volume four that made it seem like maybe this was an afterthought that they decided to put into volume five. But during volume four to now, it doesn't seem like you know, there was a locked door that they needed to get. And if Cinder was the key, she wasn't there to begin with. So it seems like, you know, it, it just seems like, it, it seems like it was placed there after the fact. At least that was my initial interpretations of it. So I just wanted to clear that up. Sounded like Salem was just talking about the relic itself, not the room or the chamber that is needed to be found in order to acquire the relic that's inside of it. So I'll just leave it off at that. Uh, and let's get back to the video. All right, three, two, one, now. Damn, dude, Drunkle Crow all the way. Is the problem. What happened to her? She's missing? She was determined at first, 
when she inherited her powers. Oh, okay, so this is a but new the one. the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. Child, so she's she young. Ran, abandoned her training, never <sighs> That was over a decade ago. What? No telling where she could be now. Over I... ten years. At least I have a pretty good idea. Raven. Are you serious? Raven's Not tribe. Not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news. <laughs> After all these Once years. Once you find out where she is. I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Raven. Bronwyn tribe. The Bronwyn tribe. Raven. Yep. Your sister's Thanks, mother. Mom. Yep. That's right. Jesus Christ. I can only imagine the dynamic at this point. Oh! -ho! That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. All right. Ravens managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure <clears throat> when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Yeah. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few that's weeks. That's not a good thing, though. I don't know if that's wise to do. A few weeks? Copying right. files disconnected? Leo, maybe you Why did you copy those? My sister. Dude, he better not give those. I know where she is. He... We need to go as soon as possible. Jesus Christ, Crow, chill out, bro. That, and perhaps you didn't hear me. The alcohol's hitting him. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Then damn the council. We'll do it ourselves. Yeah. You and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids oh, are exactly Oh shit! Pushovers. Oh my god, Leo can fight! Perhaps there's a more <laughs> peaceful way to approach this? We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible, but Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched. Oh, and I'm not the fuck. Fighter. Are you serious? No offense. But these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. Jesus. We need to be positive. Well, they are we twins. That makes spring. sense. Because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter and we'll be lost. We get one shot at this. We get one shot that's at what this. That, that's what that line meant. And it needs to be perfect. Jesus. What I'm you know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if he were here. You didn't tell them. Perhaps you're right, but he's not. He didn't I'm tell him about the Oscar. Very best I can. There has to be something we can do. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Yeah. Do you have anything on them? <sighs> they we weren't even in the last volume. After the fall of Beacon, nothing but lies and forgeries. Yeah. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. Yeah, tell me about it. You guys are at each I'm other's sorry. throats. I know you've all traveled a long way, but I will do everything I can to help. Sure. Yeah, then why didn't you tell them about what? Stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. That's good. Keep in touch. <laughs> That's the Come send on, button. Why did he he copy those files? I I swear if he gives those files away. It was nice meeting you, Professor. Likewise. I really hope he doesn't give those files to Arthur. <sighs> oh! Oh! Hold on! Hold on! Pause! Oh my god! Oh! The W! The W! That W was on Cinder's scroll in Volume 3. That's who created... Oh my god. Watts created the virus. Watts created the Black Queen virus. And he's the one that got her into the access points through hacking. <laughs> that W has been plaguing me for years. Ever since Volume 3. And now that that's the confirmation, 
The W is f stands for Watts. Holy shit. All right, three, two, one, now. Relational skills. He's got him on a leash. I think Watts has him on a leash, basically. Or the rope thing that he got his so, neck trapped around in the what trailer. what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. <laughs> huh, he needs a drink. I wonder if that's before or after... I was just about to say, I was like, I wonder if that was before he saw Ozpin. Excuse me. <laughs> You're back! You know, yeah, they don't I allow kids, they allow in, kids here. in here. Pip Squeak. Pip Squeak. This is literally, this is literally like, Shut up, I'm copy, and pa copy and paste it from volume four. Wait, so does that mean he didn't... Um. I'm supposed to tell you. I'd like my cane I'd back. I'd like my cane back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that scene is so funny. It's just like, uh, I guess I'm supposed to tell you this? Oh my god. This is what you guys left us off on last year. It's good to see you again, it's Oz. It's good to see you again, Oz. <laughs> Please let us hear Ozpin. No! Uh, that's the same thing you left us with last year. Aren't you a little young to be drinking? Uh. <laughs> oh, water. It's hot out. Ah, uh, no strawberry oh. sunrise. Sure. Uh. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? Oh God. You look I'd like a regular huntress. And a beauty at that. Oh, fuck off, dude. I'm good. Thanks, Pat. Yang is gonna fucking Seriously. body you, dude. You need to get out of here. Not too bulky. Not too lean. You're... Just right. <laughs> yep. Like I said, oh! I'm good. Oh! my god! Pause! That's, um... That's, uh... Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The porridge. Not too hot, not too cold, just right. And because she's Goldilocks. Oh, that's so clever. <sighs> And your hair. Don't touch her fucking hair, dude. <gasps> dude, you need to take a lesson from Junior, my boy. Oh! Oh, oh! Oh! I I'm gonna say that that was for comedic... <laughs> comedic purposes. Jesus Christ, you must have killed him! He's been driving me crazy. Careful, careful. Her PTSD is still acting up. So, what brings you around this far? <laughs> her, her robot arm is her freaking can opener. Thanks. Or her, uh... And I'm, uh, looking, looking for someone. For someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Or bottle cap opener or whatever. person noting around here is... Well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Holy shit. Holy Thanks shit. Again. Holy shit. Holy now, now shit. Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. They're that's a world of trouble. That's her fucking mother, dude. So I So hear. she <laughs> She's really going to see her mom. <sighs> Yang, you look so fucking cool. I'm wondering hey, if he's girly. If he's one of the bandits. Seriously? This isn't over? <sighs> I heard you're looking for someone. <laughs> he's a bandit. I think he's one of the bandits. He looks, he's wearing the same outfit as some of those guys in the trailer, though. Oh! We know who this is! It's Oscar. Team Orange confirmed. Where's Ruby? I just realized that. I'm so looking forward to this character. Can I help you? Um, yeah, is there a <gasps> Ruby Rose here? <gasps> Why? 
Well, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> He's drunk. Google could use some help. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Wow! Is she reading X-Ray and Bab comics? <laughs> Drunkle Crow! Maybe. Oh. oh my god, dude. You have silver eyes. Oh no. That's what Ozpin said. Who are you? Uh, he shares Ozpin's memories! Uh, it makes sense. Well, my name is Oscar Pine. <laughs> Wait you for it! Know me as <laughs> Professor Ospin. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I did it! <gasps> no! 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 I wanted more! The opening! Is that Casey? Oh my god, I barely recognize her voice! <laughs> oh my god, this is the intro! Oh my god, dude, you're gonna become the next Ozpin! What? Oh, they're gonna go up to see it a con! They're gonna take back Menagerie? That's the Spring Maiden! Raven and Yang. Holy shit! Oh! We're gonna- Oh my god, please don't tease with that. I need to see Hazel this season. Rematch! Rematch! Holy shit, dude. Dude, thank you so much for the show, Monty. Oh my god. Okay, this is the concept art. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, that was probably the... Oh my god! <laughs> this probably this has to be this is de definitively i think in my opinion the best premiere episode 23 minutes so much information so much to look forward to and that opening is so fucking good jesus dude Oh my god, I am freaking sweating right now. I am so hot. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude, volume 5 is gonna be so hype! I am hot as hell. Definitely need water after that one. Let's talk the episode. So despite that drink, I'm still pretty fired up, but this chapter was so incredible. I, I honestly want to say that this is the best chapter premiere for Ruby thus far. Like when you look at chapter one for volumes one, two, three, four, and five, I think this one was the best in terms of its structure, in terms of the multiple subplots that we're getting into, in terms of the amount of information, the fact that it's also the longest premiere chapter at 23 minutes, including the opening. We got to see every single member of Team Ruby. Weiss and Blake's involvement was very short, but we got to see Ruby, Weiss, Blake, and Yang in this episode. We finally reached Haven Academy. We got to see a little bit of Mistral. Uh, we got to meet Leo Lionheart. We got more explanation on the Maidens, the Relics, what Cinder's ultimate plan is. We have the subplot set up for Raven and the Spring Maiden to be featured this volume crow uh managed to find ozpin and oscar and that that you know that dynamic is going to be a part of team ranger from this point on and I, i'm just so fucking excited for this because and then the intro like the intro i think i'm crazy in saying this but i really do feel 
like that is going to be my favorite by the end of it like by the end of the volume probably even by the time like the intro comes out on youtube i think i'm going to listen to it enough times where it's going to become my favorite uh i, I wasn't really able to hear the lyrics i heard the lyrics here and there but it seems very uplifting you know what i mean like volumes volume volume three was like trauma like absolute devastation and trauma that we experienced uh volume four was the doom and gloom and the depression of everything the you know going through loss losing pira losing penny losing beacon and you know everyone being scattered and not knowing what they want to do and then volume five seems like it's going to be more of like a comeback you know what i mean this volume is centered around growth about you know finding inner strength and inner you know uh, you know, inner power, you know, after everything terrible has happened, and I, I, that's what I felt, I felt like this is definitely going to be a comeback story for a lot of our characters, um, we got to see Arthur Watts in there, uh, Hazel, um, Adam, uh, it seemed like we got the Spring Maiden in there too, going up against, Maiden versus Maiden, can you guys imagine that, like, two, two Maidens, Fall Maiden versus Spring Maiden, like, full-on combat, like, I, I'm, I'm just super, super fucking stoked for everything, uh, Anima looks beautiful, um, Sorry, not Anima. Mistral looks beautiful in particular. Uh, we got to see Haven Academy. We got to meet uh, Leo Lionheart, which it seems like he's being worked into, you know, being coerced by uh, by Arthur Watts, you know, for, for Salem's faction. The W, uh, the, his insignia was mentioned in Volume 3, which a lot of people for some reason thought that that was Whitley for some weird reason. But we finally got that. Holy shit, I'm so happy to be back. And I'm happy that I didn't cry this volume, right? Because Volume 4, like, Volume 3 really left me, like, emotionally devastated. And Volume volume four uh you know the premiere of volume four um sorry volume three left me incredibly devastated volume four like as i started it it was just so overwhelming the emotions that i was feeling going into coming back after so long but i feel like the the yang care i feel like the character shorts were definitely a primer to like prep me and hype me up so the emotions are still there but it's not like i, I feel i don't feel like i've been disconnected from the show for so long as opposed to last year so it's really great to be back i really hope you guys enjoy these reactions overall uh be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments what did you guys think about the chapter uh you know your likes your dislikes everything else in between what are you guys looking forward to what are you guys hoping happens this volume uh and i will be doing both my live stream discussion and my tldrs later in the week uh you know to summarize my overall thoughts on the chapter uh as a whole but thank you guys so much it's great to be back we're gonna have an awesome next couple of months for ruby i have a lot in store for you guys so i hope you guys all enjoy but like i said leave your thoughts in the comment section and thank you guys so much for your support and i will see you guys next weekend for ruby volume 5 chapter 2 take care